Welcome to Crafty Little Things, I'm Andrea. Um, I'm just going to do a couple of cards today for a Positively Paper Craft Challenge. Um, this is the Sketch Challenge um, for May. Uh, you can see it's just a basic rectangular card with two strips of whatever you want to put on and then like a, a layer on the top. And then it says to put the sentiment here, but... That would have to be a very small sentiment, so I've put mine actually on the card. Now, this month um, in Positively Papercraft um, Sketch Challenge album, there's two sketches that you can choose from, or you can do both of them. And what um, I've asked people to do is to make a male and a female card mm -hmm. for whichever sketch they choose, or for both if they choose, or they can make as many cards as they want. And this month, instead of us sending out a prize to the person who submits the most cards to the album, um, we're going to be sending out a prize to the male and female card which get the most likes. And that's either a thumbs up or a heart. Um, whichever male and female card have the most of those, at the end of May, that person, those people will get um, a little something from us as a thank you for taking part. Um, obviously, pay, Positively Papercraft is not my group. It's um, the business name of Anne Melvin. Um, she's on YouTube. I'll link those below. She's on YouTube. She uh, has a blog and a craft forum. Um, and I'm just one of the admin on the craft forum and I help her out with um, the... Um, sketch challenge every month so i'm going to use that um and what I've, what i'm using is a couple of things if you saw my recent haul i'm going to use ribbon of courage for the female card sentiment and thankful thoughts for the male card sentiment and i'm using um garden green and berry burst inks for those sentiments and here are my bits and bobs for my cards so they're going to be pretty similar. Um, this is my female and this is my male. I mean, this would be okay for a male. Would that be okay for a male as well if they like flowers? Um, so I'm just going to show you how I've gone about this. I've got a piece of Whisper White which measures eight by five and a half. And then I've scored it at four on the long side. And then I've got a piece of uh, yellow cardstock which measures five and three eighths by three and seven eighths. I think this is so saffron. I'm not 100% sure, but I think it is. And then I've got a strip of paper, which is from the Needlepoint Nook um, stack, which was is in the current um, spring-summer catalogue from Stampin' Up, and that measures an inch and a half by five and a quarter. And then I've got a piece of ribbon. I think this might be cut. It might be retired. I think it is retired. It's close woven berry burst ribbon. Um, no, it's is it berry? Yeah, it's berry burst ribbon. And that measures five and a half inches. And then for the female card, I've also got a little layer here, which measures three and a quarter by two and a half. And then that same. DSP, really pretty, which also which measures three by two and a quarter, and then a little white um, piece of white card with that sentiment stamped onto it in the berry burst ink, which measures two by one and three quarters. Okay, and then for the mail card, I've done the same thing, so we've got exactly the same base, eight by five and a half. And this time we've got garden green and we've got um, five and three eighths by three and seven eighths. And then we've got this stripe. This is from the In Colour Stacks. Um, I'm not quite sure what colour this is. It looks like it could be, call me, no it's not call me clover. It could be old olive actually. And that's an inch and a half by five and a quarter. And then what I've done is I've used the reverse of that instead of ribbon. Um, I've used the reverse of that paper with the spots on. 
and that's five and a quarter by one uh, by three quarters of an inch so it's slightly wider than the ribbon for that one and then the little sentiment layer is three and a quarter by two and a half uh, the same DSP which is three and one eighth by two and three eighths and then a little sentiment there if you could see my face you'd see the smile you've put on it and that is two and one eighth by two it's nearly square okay I just thought that this is uh, this would be okay to send to a man and I thought something like this is sort of more sort of soppy sort of thing that a woman might send to a man rather than the other way around I don't know right so first things first what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop this piece of paper onto the DSP uh, onto the cardstock so I'm just going to put a bit of wet glue on the back and I'm going to just stick it just so it's just off the edge because we want to see that edge of the paper and I'm going to literally put that right to the edge should I wrap it round? no, I'm not going to wrap it round, I'm going to use a tape pen going to stick that on there and then I'm just going to trim it and I have used my fabric scissors or embroidery scissors to do this as opposed to paper scissors which don't cut fabric so well And then I'm just going to stick these pieces together. So I'm going to pop that on the back of there. The dogs are snuffling around in the background. I'm going to stick this sentiment directly on. I'm not going to use dimensionals for that bit. I'm going to use dimensionals for the whole thing. I want to lift the whole thing off. Okay. And then I'm just going to get some dimensionals and stick those on to the back. I went to order some more dimensionals and some more glue and they're all on um, they're all on back order because they're all stuck at, with customs evidently. Of a nightmare, isn't it? And then I'm just going to pop that just so this edge is almost at the edge of the card, and just so this edge is almost at the end of the DSP, like so. And then I'm going to pop the whole thing onto the card base. and leave a little tiny border around the edge just pop that down press that down and there we have it it's a really pretty card that, nice and simple and then I'm going to do the same thing with this one it's not quite exactly the same because this one can be built up. I'm going to put my garden green layer on first. It can be built up a little bit differently because I haven't got to mess with the um, ribbon. Remember just to leave that little bit of border around. 
there. And then remember that you're going to glue the other side on this one. It's slightly different, a bit wider than the other one. I've just butted that up to the other paper, I haven't overlapped it. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick this layer straight onto here. And I'm going to stick the whole thing. Straight onto the card. Again, just leaving that little bit of gap. It's a bit higher up, that one. And for this one, I'm just going to pop the dimensionals on the actual sentiment. Sorry about that. The battery died on my camera. Um, yeah, so I just attached this with dimensionals. And that's it. That's as tricky as it gets so really two really simple cards there um you don't have to um try too hard you could put some little i mean i'm staying truish to the um sketch but you could print on here you could use a different dsp here you could make those bigger whatever uh, that's the thing about sketches you can do what you like with them and just use them as inspiration or as a blueprint whichever you choose okay so thanks for watching and i'll see you again very soon bye bye